हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम ममता निकम एंड आई एम योर टू हेल्प यू ऑल विद द कंसेप्ट फ्रॉम मैथमेटिक्स वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद टॉपिक दैट इज सेट्स एंड रिलेशन एंड आज के इस वीडियो में हम देखने वाले हैं ऑल्चेप्रा ऑफ सेट ऑपरेशन हम पिछले एक वीडियो में ऑलरेडी हमने ऑपरेशन ऑन सेट देख लिए हैं वॉट इज यूनियन सेट ऑफ सेट इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ सेट एंड सो ऑन टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग वेरियस अल्जेब्रास वी कैन परफॉर्म ऑन सेट सेट ऑपरेशन सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट इज स्टार्ट विद टू डेज टॉपिक सो वॉट इज द ऑपरेशन वी कैन एक्सप्रेस और वी कैन अप्लाई ऑन दिस सेट Suppose we are given three sets. Now we we will be discussing for given sets. Say we are considering three sets. Why three sets? It will be clear further. Suppose we have a set A. Okay. What does idempotent law says? The idempotent law says in union of the same set is equal to same set. Obviously. Suppose A set diya hai one two three. Okay. Or X set diya hai say B. One, two, three. What does this mean? B is resembling A, so B is nothing but equal to A. And uh, we know A union B. क्या होता है? In union means together all the elements. So A union B is A nothing but here A union A itself because it is resembling A itself. We they have same elements. So A union A क्या होगा? Ultimately A ही होगा. Means it will be the elements one, two, three itself. And same applies for the intersection also. Given a set से a one two three हम क्या करते हैं intersection में we take common of both the sets. So दोनों set resemble कर रहे तो दोनों में common तो same ही element से that is one two three. तो intersection भी क्या होगा a वही set मिलेगा that is one two three itself. Okay? So first uh, operation से set या identity idempotent law where union of same set is equal to e itself. Okay, next commutativity. What does commutative mean? A union B is equal to B union A. Means what? Suppose now we are given two sets. Say A is equal to one, two, three, and B is equal to say two, four, six. So what will be A union B? A union B is nothing but set of all the elements which are together in A and B. So क्या होगा? One, two is repeated. So we will consider one, two, three. Four and six. This will be a union B. Similarly, now when we have to find the value of B union A, again it applies the same definition, representing both the elements. When we when we have discussed even Venn diagram picture only, ये कि सारे elements consider होते हैं. तो सारे elements consider होंगे तो one, two, three, four, six itself will be the set. And if you observe these both the sets are what equal. So a union B is equal to B union A is satisfied. Similarly for the same sets, say A and B, we have to find A intersection and B. So A intersection kya hota hai? Sorry, just a minute. A intersection B hota hai as we have discussed only the common elements. So dono mein common kaun sa hai set of uh, element that is two. Similarly B intersection abhi jab karna hoga to dono mein common kya hai two and these two are nothing but equal. So the uh, laws satisfied. A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. Okay, let's move on. Next property is associativity, or you can say associative law. Suppose we have three sets, say A, B, and C. Now, what does associativity says? Associativity says that A union of B union C is A union B union C. Say A U is a set one two three, B is a set say one two four, and say C is a set two four six. So together A union B kya hoga bhi dekho. A union B kya hoga? Ye hoga one two three four, and A union B union C kya hoga? A union B union C kya hoga? A set A union B is X set and C is one set and together all the elements. So, kya hoge one, two, three, four and six will be the set we will obtain. Similarly, when we have to suppose we have, we will find B union C first. So, B union C kya milega? B union C hoga one, two, four and six, right? So, these are the two and four are common. So, we'll consider only once. And now A 
यूनियन बी यूनियन सी क्या होगा ए एक सेट है बी यूनियन सी एक सेट है दोनों में सारे कॉमन एलिमेंट सारे एलिमेंट्स क्या हो गए ना ए में है वन टू ए इसमें भी वन टू है तो सेम सिंगल लिखोगे वन टू थ्री फोर एंड सिक्स सो दिस बोथ द एलिमेंट इन बोथ सेट आर सेम सो दोसिएटिव लॉ होल्ड Similarly, it holds for intersection also. A intersection, B intersection, C is equal to A intersection, B intersection, C. Next property is distributivity, or you can say distributive law. Distributive law. Abhi dekho. What is the difference? Union and intersection. A union, B intersection, C is equal to A union, B intersection, A union, C. So you can distribute it. A union, B intersection. So ye distribute kar sakte ho. A union, B. इंटरसेक्शन ए यूनियन सी ऐसे सेपरेट आउट लिख सकते हो सिमिलरली अगर ए इंटरसेक्शन बी यूनियन सी होगा सो यू कैन एक्सप्रेस इट एज ए इंटरसेक्शन बी यूनियन ए इंटरसेक्शन सी एंड डस दिस होल्ड ऑब्वियसली यस हाउ इन मैथमेटिकल टर्म सपोज नाउ वी कंसिडर सम एलिमेंट एक्स व्हिच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ से ए यूनियन बी इंटरसेक्शन सी सो हियर A union B intersection C का part X is an element of this term. So obviously X is going to belong to A or X is going to belong to B intersection C. Why I have written or because it is definition of A union B. A union B का definition क्या होता है? X belongs to A or X belongs to B. So obviously X belongs to A or X belongs to B intersection C. So now this will contain X belongs to A and here since X belongs to B intersection C means what? It's X belongs to B. And x belongs to C as per the definition of intersection. So we can write here x belongs to A or x belongs to B and x belongs to A or x belongs to C. X belongs to A or x belongs to B. ये क्या है definition of union that is A union B. X belongs to A or x belongs to C is definition of A union. Again union that is A union C. So and there is a different A and in between. So we can write A x belongs to A union B and this intersection you and it will be replaced by intersection sign as per the definition a union c getting it so such way the property holds similarly you can uh, we can uh, verify or prove this second property also that is a intersection b union c kaise prove karoge dekho suppose again let x is a term element which belongs to a intersection b union c so kya hoga ye x belongs to a and because intersection definition x belongs to b union c so x belongs to a and x belongs to b union c means we can write x belongs to b or x belongs to c so we can express this as x belongs to a and x belongs to b or we can express this as x belongs to a and x belongs to c so x belongs to a and x belongs to b is definition for intersection that is x belongs to a intersection b or you can write x belongs to a intersection c right and there is between or hai to or ko hum replace a uh, ka meaning hota union तो ये होगा ए इंटरसेक्शन बी यूनियन ए इंटरसेक्शन सी टू इट टू विच एक्स बिलोंग्स राइट एंड हेंस द प्रॉपर्टी इज वेरी गुड आई होप दिस प्रॉपर्टीज आर क्लियर टू एवरी वन मूविंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट वन एप्सॉप्शन लॉ व्हाट डज एप्सॉप्शन लॉ मींस एप्सॉप्शन लॉ सेज A union of A intersection B is equals to A itself. Means what? A intersection B क्या होगा देखो? A suppose element दिए हैं one two three. B elements दिए हैं two two four and three. Okay. So what will be A intersection B? A intersection B is only the common elements. Common elements के कौन से हैं? Two and three is a common element. And now when you find take union of these two elements a union a intersection b kya hoga a union a, a intersection b and a me jo bhi terms hai so sare consider hoge to wo sare terms kya hai 1 2 3 and if you observe what is this this is nothing but our a set 
so this property is or this law is verified okay similarly for intersection uh, second property a intersection a union b will also hold dekho kya hoga abhi pehle hum a union b find out karenge to a union b kya hoga a union b hoga together all the elements sorry so ye hoga 1 2 3 and 4 and now will a do a intersection a union b to a intersection a union b kya hoga a is nothing but 1 2 3 and a union b is 1 2 3 4 so isme se common kaun se hai wahi consider hoke that is 1 2 3 itself so and if you observe this is nothing but what set a so this property also holds absorption law also holds next is de morgan law de morgan law kya kehta hai a union b ka complement kaise express kar sakte hai we can express a complement of a union b as a complement intersection b complement how let's prove it the proof says suppose there is a sum x which belongs to uh, which does not belongs to a union b now why have we considered does not belong because we are taking complement the complement matlab kya hota hai a union b set chhod ke universal mein universal set mein jo bhi elements wo consider honge right a complement means given a set a other than all this set a consider all the elements in the universal set so you have a union b ko chhod ke baki sare elements so obviously a union b ko belong nahi karega wo x so x is a sum element which does not belongs to a union b so a union b ko does not belong karta hai so you can say that a union x does belong to a and x does not belong to b right so x does not x belongs to a complement we can say does not belongs to x means what it belongs to a complement and also x does not belongs to b means what it belongs to b complement right so uh, therefore x belongs to a complement and x belongs to b complement sorry this should be or here yeah. or will turn out to and because hum complement consider kare and therefore ye as per the intersection definition ye hoga a inters a complement intersection b complement in a similar manner we can prove the second property also of de morgan's law that what it says a intersection b complement is equal to a complement union b complement means what a intersection b complement means what there is some x which such that x does not belongs to a intersection b means what x such that x does not belongs to a and x does not belongs to b so that means x we can write x belongs to a complement or x belongs to b complement and therefore as per the definition we can say this is nothing but a complement union b complement and hence the property holds next uh, uh, operation is double complement means what complement ka complement so obviously complement ka complement kya milne wala hai wahi set given x set hai say a 1 2 3 से यूनिवर्सल सेट है टू फोर सिक्स वन टू थ्री ओके सो यूनिवर्सल सेट के सबसे एक कॉम्प्लीमेंट क्या होगा टू फोर सिक्स होगा एंड अगेन एक कॉम्प्लीमेंट का कॉम्प्लीमेंट लोगे तो ये छोड़ के बाकी सारे एलिमेंट्स दैट इज वन टू थ्री कंसिडर होगा विच इज नथिंग बट इक्वल टू ए सो दिस डबल कॉम्प्लीमेंट प्रॉपर्टी ऑल्सो होल्ड्स so these are the few operations on uh, algebra of on operations of the sets uh, which we have discussed in today's video i hope all the properties are clear to everyone and uh, if you are uh, not able to express in mathematically yeah, just take uh, consider some set and and try to uh, solve it as per the property obviously we, we can check uh, we can uh, find that the property will hold for the particular sets okay so this was about today's video uh, like in next video we will meet up again with a new topic till then bye bye please do like share and subscribe my youtube channel and also press that bell icon so that you will get notified whenever i upload a new video on any new topic i have also uploaded uh, videos on mcqs of matrices as well as determinant which are very 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 helpful for 
those who are opting for CET and JEE. So please go through those videos also. Thank you. Do visit my channel again.